Hey, what's up guys? This is Paul from the SysAdmin channel and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to upgrade your Windows 10 machine to a later version using an SCCM task sequence. And we're starting right now. All right, so here I am in my SCCM server and as you can see I've already extracted the setup files. This is something you're going to need to do prior to uh, getting everything set up. So I'll go ahead and copy that path because we're going to need it in a bit. So next I'm going to go into my software library and then we're going to click on the operating system tab and then select the operating system upgrade package. From here I'm going to want to add a new upgrade package and I'll paste in that path that I just copied right now. I'm going to go ahead and name this uh, Enterprise 1709. Version right there is good. We'll click next to that. And we're all green, so that's always good. Um, just like with anything with SCCM, you're always going to, need, going to need to distribute the content. So I'll go ahead and do that now. We'll click next to this. I'll add my distribution point. I only have one in my lab, so this should be enough. Oops. And we'll click OK to that. And next, once again. And everything looks good on that side. All right, so next up, we'll go ahead and go into our task sequence. And we'll want to create a new task sequence here. Since we are doing an upgrade, I'm going to select the upgrade operating system to an upgrade package. We'll click next to that. And then we'll give it something uh, relevant for the name. In my case, I'm going to call it Microsoft Windows 10 1709 upgrade. And that looks good. All right, moving on. From here, we're going to click on the browse button and select the package we just created a few minutes ago. And right here, if you notice in the properties section, you have all types of the Windows 10 versions. For example, you have the enterprise, the education version, the pro version. In my, in my case, I'm going to select the enterprise because that's what I'm using for my lab. If you have a product key, now is the time to enter it in. Next up, we have the option to either install updates now or later. In my case, since I'm using SCCM to deploy software updates, to my client machines, I'm going to choose the option to do not install software updates at this time. Next up, if you wanted to deploy any applications with your task sequence, now is the time to do it. Uh, since I don't have any applications to deploy or any applications at all, as a matter of fact, um, we'll go ahead and select next to this. And finally, we'll go ahead and confirm the settings just to make sure that everything looks good. That looks like it completed successfully, so we're all green there. We'll go ahead and close that. So I went ahead and paused the video for about five to 10 minutes just to make sure that our operating system package did distribute to our DPs correctly. And we can see here that it did just that. So now we're ready to deploy our task sequence. So on the left here, we'll go ahead and click on the task sequence node and right click our task sequence and select deploy. We'll go ahead and choose browse. And here it's just letting us know that this is a potential high risk. So be very, very careful who you deploy this to. In my case, I have a Windows 10 1607 collection with one machine on there. So we'll go ahead and select that one. And here we're given the option to either make it available or required. Since I don't want to force this upgrade on my users, I am going to select available. And I'll show you later in Software Center where we can actually see how to upgrade. So we'll click next to here. All right, so now we're given the option to either schedule a deployment or make it as soon as possible. By leaving it blank, we're going to make it as soon as possible. So I'll go ahead and leave the defaults. So for the user experience, I do want them to see the task sequence. And since this task sequence is not forced on the user, they can manually choose when to install. So I'll go ahead and leave the defaults here. If you wanted to set up alerts, you can do that here. But in my case, I'll go ahead and leave the defaults. And here we can select what we want to do when we click on the deployment. We have the option to either download everything locally before or download it when it needs it. Since the upgrade deployment downloads the WIMP file anyway, I'll go ahead and leave the defaults. Actually, I'll click on the allow clients to share content with other clients on the same subnet. And then from there, we can go ahead and click next. We'll go ahead and give this one look over. And once we're good with the settings, we'll go ahead and click next. It looks like everything is successfully. So we'll go ahead and close this. And just to give a little recap, we'll go ahead and click on that task sequence. And on the bottom here, you can see that the references is tied to the upgrade package that we selected. And it's also referencing the deployment for Windows 10 1607. So here I am in my Windows 10 machine. And just to make sure that I'm not upgrading the wrong machine, I'm going to go into the settings 
We'll click on system and then the about. And we'll just confirm that I am on build 1607. So that looks good. And just to speed things up, I went ahead and paused the video and manually triggered the sync cycles. So we should be getting policy pretty soon. All right, so it looks like we are getting our notifications. So that looks good. I'll click on that. And here, if I click on the operating systems again, you can see that our Microsoft Windows 10 1709 upgrade task is there. I'll go ahead and click on the install. And here is just wanting us to confirm the installation. It is also letting us know that it's going to take a while and there may be several reboots involved. So we'll go ahead and click install to fire it off. So once you do that, you should see a notification saying that it is downloading and installing in the background. You will also see the task sequence show up on your screen and it looks something similar to this. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and open up the log files and that can be located at C, Windows, CCM, Logs. We'll go ahead and open up the SMSTS log folder and within there you should see the SMSTS.log. I'm using CM Trace to view the logs. I would highly suggest you get that as well. And here on the log file we can see that it is running several background downloads. And more specifically, it is downloading the WIMP file and the setup files for the operating system. I also wanted to mention that once you get to this part where it says executing command line, C, SMS, blah, 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 setup.exe, uh, go ahead and grab a cup of coffee because it's going to be a while from here. All right, so after about 30 minutes of installations and reboots, we're back on our Windows 10 machine and I'm going to go ahead and open up Software Center. And here on the operating system, we can see that Microsoft Windows 10 1709 did install successfully so that is good i'm also going to go into the settings here we'll go ahead and click on the system and the about and here we just want to verify that it is actually running uh, version 1709 and that is looking good so that about wraps it up for today if you guys like this video, go ahead and click on that like button. Or if you have any other ideas for any other sysadmin related content, go ahead and let me know in the comments section. Until next time, this is Paul with the sysadmin channel, signing out.